the Joe Rogan experience. God damn it! <laughs> because I really need to tell people yes. what's going on, and they don't even know. But I know because I did the reading for them. Yes. And I mean, this is all just a social experiment to see how far they can push us let's, let's away make that from happen. each other. Out and away from any kind of possible power we could have to coalesce and go, wait a minute, you guys are not going to take any more of our money for your fucking travels. Hey, bitch. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch. Yeah. I do. Uh-uh. No. You can't. Uh-uh. No. You. It was not in the public sphere. What when she said it was in the public sphere. Well, who is she? Nancy. Nancy Pelosi? Mm -hmm. Oh. It was not in the it was public Nancy. sphere. Goddamn Nancy. Oh, Nancy. What did she do? Nancy is on my last nerve. What did she I've do? I've been saying it for 10 years, too. Nancy, you're on my last nerve. You've got a lot to answer for in San Francisco, what you have allowed on the streets there to the homeless people. It's disgusting. I go up there, and I, it, I am disgusted. It's crazy right uh, now. And people, I don't think most people know. It, how bad Pe it is. People are living in shit and filth. Their children around drug addicts dying in the fucking streets of the richest financial district on the West Coast. You know, yeah. Where's that money going? Do you, I, I just like, and then Laura Loomer went up there to Nancy's Vineyard trying to find her. It's like, yeah. if you guys don't get yet that it don't matter who the president is, it's all a fucking scam to put public money into private pockets and nothing else you're being robbed and nothing else and they're both doing it both parties both sides both up and down it's about the american people we have got to go to washington <laughs> you know that movie Mrs. mr smith i think about we are all need to be Mr. Smith and all go to Washington. It's like, this is our government. That is our tax money. And it will be audited as Trump has promised. And as long as President Trump continues to, to make the moves to keep that promise to us, I will be supportive of him because that needs to happen. The Federal Reserve must be audited. And we have to thank President Trump for going in that direction. How much time do you spend thinking about this stuff? 18 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> really? My kids are, everyone's mad at me. I mean, I have to, I, I have to figure it out. It makes no sense otherwise. I mean, I people have to help me understand what I've done. You need a co-host. You need like a, like a journalist. I need a psychiatrist. Like someone's going to. A gonna, journalist. Yeah. Someone, oh, good idea. Yeah. Someone's going to like sit, sit with Tiffany you. Tiffany McHenry. Who's that? Tiffany Mix Fitz Henry. Mix I can't remember. Fitz it's Henry? Fitz Henry. He'll find Tiff. it. Tiff. Tiff. I want her for okay. my co-host. What is she oh, doing? Oh, shit. What does she do? She can uncover anything. Oh, okay. She goes out there. She's like, oh, here it is. Oh, he was arrested in 1922 ah. when he had this and that. John Bolton. Blah, mm. blah. She mm. gets it all. All declassified. The government's own shit. You right. have to make it up. Freedom of Information Act it's stuff. It's the greatest story never told, the story of this country. It's phenomenal. I'd like to see somebody make a movie on it. Talk to Oliver Stone. He seems like the guy. For I that. have talked to him before. Did you? He's so left. I'm like, give Too it left? a rest, huh? Too left. Give it a rest. It's not about that. You're not gonna have your one fucking commie world, just dumb bastard. Back <laughs> off. You got billions. Go away. You will raise somebody's fucking wage. Shut up. <laughs> Pay your people decent. For fuck's sake, let's start there. He doesn't pay his people decent? Well, I don't know that, but <laughs> I'm just saying, if he didn't, it would be wrong. <laughs> That's true. If you know didn't, what I'm saying? I'm right. just sick of people's hypocrisy. I understand. Just help people get their, their fucking money back that belongs to them, like public money. That's for roads, streets, hospitals, schools, okay? Public money, when they give it to uh, private contractors to go to, you know, where they go, uh, you know, move guns and shit all around the world that means like eisenhower said that's one less high school for the kids come on we're going to be the kind of a country that leads the world we cannot we're not we cannot be imperialist uh one world fascist we can't do, it won't work we have to do something else
So we can't be one world fascists? You mean no. like one world government? Yeah. No. Yeah. Leave people the fuck alone. Leave the tribal people in the Middle East to live where they've lived forever. Fuck. You know, you know uh, and if you can't, then separate them. Separate them. Yeah, if they can't live together, then don't force them to live together. Like what people are you talking about? Like the Palestinians and the Israelis? Like that kind of deal? Well, in Israel, the Arab population is very well integrated, so I don't mean Israel. But out of Israel, they're not very well integrated, you know, because they just get their money from bullshit propaganda peddled by the left. But the people on the ground are what I'm saying the people on the ground are the ones that matter to me. And if you can live together, then live together. That's great. And if you can't, then don't. Nobody can force you to live with people who want you dead. What is that? That's Auschwitz. Are you shitting me? I'm not going to live with people that want you dead. I'm not, not sure what you're referring to, though. I'm referring to the entire world. The whole world. The entire fucking world. Uh, led by, you know, bad ideas, man, that haven't worked this far. It's going to have to be something new that actually works for the people in the world, not just the people at the top. Like, do you but have any suggestions? the people in the world. Of course! I'd love to hear them. Like, what do you well, think Well, when I ran do? for president, I yeah. had my solutions. What's the solution? Well, I have to tell you, Joe, when I was a little girl, uh, um, I made a promise to my, myself, I guess, or, and the cosmos and God and everything that uh, I was never, I was not ever going to, I was going to keep trying to know, no matter what, I was going to keep trying to know and uh, know something new, know something new and different. Like what? Um. How to create a world where uh, something like Auschwitz doesn't exist. And even the thought of it doesn't exist. But you really can't. Because I think when you read about Western society and all of that, you're like, maybe that was, the, you know, that's where it leads. Well, it seems like throughout history there's been evil governments. There's been certain evil organizations that have done horrific things. Yeah. Like way back to as, as far as we know, from Rome to the Inquisition to the Mongols to the, yeah. you know, I mean, there, there's been horrific things done by human beings. And one of the things about knowing about things like Auschwitz is it lets us know that even though things in this country right now are relatively great in comparison to the rest of the world, relatively great in comparison to some parts of the world that are war-torn and terrible right now, it could go bad. It could go bad because that's what humans are capable of. Humans are capable when they're led by the wrong ideology, when they're, they're, they're cult-minded, when they're all in, they're, they can do some terrible, awful things, and we need to know that. And it's one of the things about having something like Auschwitz in our history that we, we know that that's possible. 